So if you have successfully hacked your DSi and got the higher custom firmware and the Twilight menu, you can actually play Game Boy Advance games off your SD card. So there's something called GBA Runner 2. It's actually already on your SD card if you've installed the custom firmware, but you need to get a Game Boy Advance BIOS and you need to do a few things to set it up. So if you guys would like to follow along and play some Game Boy Advance games off the SD card on your DSi, go and get your SD card, go and connect this to your computer, and I will show you guys what to do next. Okay, so to get this working properly, you want to go to the first link in the description. This is so we can grab a Game Boy Advance BIOS. So what you want to do is scroll down to where it says Game Boy Advance slash e-reader and just click on this and it's going to bring us to this section right here. What we actually want to grab is the boot ROM. So you want to just click on this and it's just going to bring us to a media file page. From here, we can actually download a Game Boy Advance BIOS. So just click on the green download button and it's going to start downloading. So once we've got this downloaded, go to your downloads folder and you'll be able to find it in in there. You also need some Game Boy Advance ROMs. As you can see, I've got four of them here. I've got Metal Slug, Pirates of the Caribbean, Sonic, and Yu-Gi-Oh. It's entirely up to you where you decide to get your Game Boy Advance ROMs from. You also need a Game Boy Advance BIOS. Well, we've just downloaded it. So get this zip file, right click it, and select Extract here. And it's basically going to extract this BIOS file for us. Now we're not done yet. You have to right click the BIOS file. You have to click on Rename, and you want to take out the GBA and the underscore part, just so it's BIOS.bin. Then just click off of it, and that is pretty much it so on the root of your SD this is where the BIOS bin goes so simply get it go and drag and drop it on I've already got one I'm just going to replace it now we also need to copy across our ROMs so I'm going to right click my ROMs copy we're going to go into the ROMs folder you should have one if your um, SD card or your DSi is hacked and we're just looking for the Game Boy Advance folder if you don't have one of these right click new folder call it Game Boy Advance and this is where you put your ROMs as you can see I've already got mine in here I simply just right click paste and yeah that's literally it so that's literally it for the computer that is how you get the BIOS copy across and that is how you copy across your ROMs as well so now all we have to do is go back onto our DSi and we can test out the games. Okay so once we're back obviously the first thing you want to do is just go and plug in your SD card. Okay so once your DSi is turned on we want to launch up the Twilight menu so scroll over to this and just press A to go ahead and launch this up and if you put the BIOS file on the root and renamed it successfully it should actually appear and it should let us boot into the Game Boy Advance Runner 2 emulator. So here we are on the home screen and there it is, Start GBA Runner 2. So what we can do is just press A on this and um, once this boots up, all we have to do is search for our ROM. So as you can see, we're on the root of our SD card. Now if you scroll down, if you um, followed me, you will have your Game Boy Advance ROMs in your ROMs folder. So we're going to press A to go onto this and then we're going to look for it. Mine is right here, so Game Boy Advance. Press A to go onto this and there you go, we have got all of our games. So let's test out a game. I'm going to test out Pirates of the Caribbean. In. So on your game, all you have to do is press A, and now you just got to wait. It's not frozen if you move it or something, it's actually just loading up your game. So I think this takes about a few seconds, and there you go, we're booting up the game straight away. So you can change other settings, you can change like the Game Boy Advance screen, that's just in the settings. And um, yeah, we can actually start this game. The sound works, so I should be able to turn it up, you should be able to hear it. And yeah, you're basically just running Game Boy Advance games off your SD card. So you'd play it just how you would, like a normal Game Boy Advance game. Obviously you can play Game Boy Advance games on the DS anyway. Um, I don't know if you can get them on the DSi, maybe virtual console ones? I don't know, never really looked into it. But there you go, it's running perfectly fine, the sound is fine, um, you know, I can play it perfectly fine as well, there's no real delay. I think I played this game on something else recently and it was kind of laggy. On this it's pretty much perfect. Um, so yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for this video. That is how you play Game Boy Advance games on your DSi off your SD card. Obviously we can press start and stuff and you can go into all the settings. It's just like a normal game. Now if you press the power button once, it will just reboot. And um, yeah, so that is pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.